Okay, so I got a bunch of these leftovers from the 10 feet dining table that I'm doing and I prepared about 105 skateboards and that dining table took about 93 skateboards. So I got a bunch of leftovers. Over here, I got eight of these, these bundles and I got eight bundles of that and that's eight different skateboards. And over here, I got 100 strips of variety of different uh, leftovers from the ones that I used from the dining table top, which is about about 60 something skateboards. I also have a couple leftovers that are kind of sketchy to use. So we'll see about that. And um, I decided why not use these because I don't have to sand it. I don't have to degrip them. They're already in the same exact thickness and length. And so I decided to make something out of it. Now, what I'm deciding on making is these hexagon tray slash home decor kind of thing. And I'm gonna have this little pattern here as a preview and I'm gonna make it so that you could use it as a tray or you could hang it on the wall so dual purpose and I think this will be a nice little pattern and I've seen these around on Etsy all the time and I thought it was pretty cute and it's a little nice home decor it doesn't have to be too big it's gonna be fairly decent size which is about this size I think you could put a flower on top of it thinking maybe wallet keys and your phone maybe, AirPod case if you use it, the Apple Watch, whatever it is, let's make it. Before we begin, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, which is Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. 90% of the products come from small brands and many of which are based right here in the US. Like this knife from Trailbox, which is made by Titan International, located in Illinois. Every month, Bespoke Post introduces their members to cool new products like outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more. Even live oysters. And this is all done based on the preference quiz that you take. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside, but costs you only a fraction of the value. You'll get a preview of what comes inside and you could either decide to keep it or swap it for a different box, or you could skip that entire month and no charge. And you only pay for what you really want. Now, let me show you what I got. Okay, so we got a few of these boxes of awesome here that we're going to open up and see what's inside. This one is the snap box. Ooh. We got a nice little speaker and I think I can use this and carry it around with my baby and play music while she's sleeping. And it also comes with this nice bag with this carabiner. And I can also attach this to my baby stroller and you know carry the little toys. Now we got a carabiner. Very nice stainless steel. I could use this to attach the speaker to the stroller. Perfect for this. And last but not least, we got Knee Glow. I don't know how to pronounce it. Now, I believe what this does is if you leave it out in the sun for a few hours and throughout the night, it'll glow in the dark. You can just attach it to your keys and this thing will glow. This is the split box. Ooh, got a little nice field hatchet by Bare Bones. Nice and sharp. I like this design too. I can kind of carry it separately, but if I want to use it, you just hammer it like this, and then now nice and ready to go. And this little sheath here, this thing is really important. So this is gonna protect the blade as well as not accidentally cut you while you're carrying it. And honestly, I think every man should have a nice little hatchet in their house, just as a decor maybe, maybe even a protection. And I'm very happy with this. This is actually pretty nice. So if you're interested in Bespoke Post and want to get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description below and enter wobi 20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash 20 That's bespokepost.com slash 20 Thank you Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video.
Okay, so I have 18 of these half inch Baltic birch plaques ready to go, as well as these skateboard strips. And I taped the back side of it so none of the glue comes out of it. And I'm going to stack these plywoods together and use the vacuum bag to laminate these two together. <laughs> I have all these planks ready to go and they're cut into the exact dimensions that I need. Now, I could keep it like this, but you wanna elevate your game and you wanna put a nice little hardwood frame around it so you're hiding all these you know, plywood edges. So I'm going to be using this maple that I have, hard maple, and this should be exact amount that I need uh, in order for me to make a frame for these. I need 18 of them, so let's do that.
So, here it is. A nice little tray, as well as a little wall art that you can hang on your wall, made out of a bunch of leftover strips from my 10 feet dining table project. And I was able to get two different kinds. The first one is this one, which is hanging right up there. It's the random mixes of different strips left over from the 10 feet dining table. And this is in no particular order and everything is in random. And I was able to get seven out of these pieces. Now the next one we have right over here is made out of one single skateboard per tray. And there's three different sections. They're all a little bit different. When I was using the 30 degree table saw sled to cut it in half on the table saw, I was getting two different strips when I cut them in half. So one of them is from the first section and the second one is from the second section. And for the third section, I actually used the first and the second section to book match them and get a different pattern than the rest. Now, as for the maple frame, I was able to get a continuous grain all around the tray and honestly I wish it was a little bit taller but I was able to sand down the plywood so that it kind of matched and it was proportioned to the tray itself and now there's a nice little lip to it so it's not too tall but it's tall enough that it's gonna you know stop it from going somewhere which is the whole point anyways. And if you have it hung on the wall, then you don't want that frame sticking out too much. So actually, I like it. And every single one of these trays will have this little key slot hole on the back so you could hang it on the wall. But you could always use it as a little centerpiece and I don't know, leave it next to the door and leave your keys and wallet and stuff like that. So if you're interested in these, make sure to check out my website, which is wobi.design. And as for the finish, I decided to use Total Belt Wood Honey and it's totally food safe. And it's really easy to wipe on and wipe off. And it looks so good. And if you're interested, make sure to use the link down in the description below to get a nice little discount from Total Belt. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video and comment down below what you guys think about these little trays slash Waller. Thanks again, and until next time.